Hey guys, welcome back to Funny Pet Videos. Today we'll be looking at two types of dog breeds, the Australian Shepherd and the Siberian Husky. We'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison, looking at their physical characteristics, personality, training, and general care to keep them happy and smiling. Let's take a look at the size and look of the Australian Shepherd. Australian Shepherds stand 18 to 23 inches tall and on average weigh between 40 to 65 pounds. They're medium-sized working dogs with long hair. Australian Shepherds born with long tails have a kink in the tail, or rather a curve. They can also be born with a naturally short tail, or a bobbed one. They usually have an attentive, intelligent, and eager expression with a friendly, keen gaze. Australian Shepherds often have striking eyes that are blue, brown, or a mix of both. Most Australian Shepherds have varied markings on the face, chest, and tail. Many will also have other colors flecked through their coat, making them either bicolor or tricolor. Their double coat comes in a variety of colors and can be curly or straight. Their base colors being black, blue merle, red, and red merle, but as mentioned before, can come in a variety of colors of tan and white. Siberian Huskies are also medium-sized working dogs with a medium-length coat. Their height ranges between 20 to 23 inches and typically weigh 35 to 60 pounds. Often, people envision these beautiful dogs as much larger than they are, but they were bred to be moderately compact in build. Their faces behold an expression that's keen but friendly. Their eyes can range in color, being blue, brown, a mix of the two, and can even be a blend of the two in one eye. Their tails are naturally down but curl up when they're excited. Siberian Huskies come in many colors, ranging from black to pure white and everything in between, including copper, red, agouti, and sable. Huskies can even have a variety of markings and striking patterns not found in other breeds. Like many herding dogs, Australian Shepherds are by nature loyal to their family, but standoffish with strangers. They're generally highly intelligent and thrive on human companionship. They're active yet easygoing dogs that love to romp with children and tend to get along well with other pets. They're typically outgoing and friendly, but others can be more shy and reserved, especially around strangers. Australian Shepherds are the happiest when they're interacting with people, especially their family. As long as they're given enough activity and stimulation, they're sweet and loving dogs. Are you guys hungry? Although sweet and loving, Australian Shepherds okay. can and will take a dominant role in the home Good if you don't much. give them firm and confident leadership. This makes them a poor choice for first-time or timid owners. Due to their origin and background, Siberian Huskies are very work-oriented and were bred to endure freezing cold temperatures. This causes them to need a lot of exercise. <laughs> They're athletic, playful, and light on their feet. When they go outside the home, they must be on a leash at all times, as they are very independent creatures and were born to run. If something catches their interest and they aren't tethered to a leash, they'll surely run off. Siberian Huskies are friendly and gentle, but also alert and outgoing. They don't display the possessive qualities of the guard dog, as they're very friendly to anyone they interact with, including children and other dogs. Conversely, Siberian Huskies have an independent temperament and are not always so eager to please. They can be very willful at times and must be consistently shown that their owners mean what they say. As one of the world's most intelligent dog breeds, you can train an Australian Shepherd to do just about anything you want them to do. They don't require a firm hand, and they take quite well to positive reinforcement. Natural people pleasers, they'll learn behaviors, tricks, and tasks quickly if they're rewarded with a small treat and loving praise. You can start training your puppy as soon as you bring him home. Australian Shepherd puppies as young as eight weeks old are capable of beginning training and will soak up whatever you teach them. If you wait until later, you will have to deal with a headstrong dog that will become stubborn. A lack of training also will cause his herding instinct to kick in, which can create havoc in your home as he may try to herd your other pets or children. The breed is considered highly intelligent and easy to train. Australian Shepherds are known for being especially eager to please their owners. Training Siberian Huskies can be a challenge. They're an extremely intelligent, energetic, and stubborn breed, and one must be ready for the unexpected. They'll try yeah. to keep finding ways to outsmart their owners. Oh, and because of this, it's important nice. for husky owners no. to teach Ouch. their dogs to respect Get. them. 
Since the dog is pack-oriented, it's important to establish yourself as the head of the pack, or alpha, very early. Once you do this, the dog will respect you, and training will be much easier. It's very important to understand the distinction, however, between establishing yourself as alpha and bullying the dog into submission. These are not the same thing. Be sure you are respecting your pet and family member. Both breeds are very energetic dogs that need plenty of exercise every day, whether it's going to the park or even in your backyard. They can become destructive and a handful if not taken out. They were both also bred for work, so be sure you're stimulating their minds with daily training. In general, weekly brushing sessions will keep the Australian Shepherd coat looking its best. During shedding season, more work will be required. During this period, you should brush every two or three days to remove the abundant dead hair. They often work and or play outdoors, so it's not unusual for them to come in dirtier than they left. But unless they've gotten into a particularly messy situation, they require a bath only occasionally. Siberian Huskies are considered a natural breed. They're remarkably self-cleaning and often need only a few baths a year. Weekly brushings help keep the coat and skin in good condition. Siberians have a double coat, an undercoat, and a guard hair. The undercoat is shed twice a year, and it's important to continually rake out the old coat using a pin brush and metal comb. Both breeds are very loving, easygoing, and make great companions for your family. Be sure to keep up with their exercise needs, as it can affect their health. If you're thinking of getting one of these two breeds, know that you're in good hands picking either one. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you want to watch more of these videos. And let us know in the comments what you would choose and what breeds you would like to see next.